Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Zoda of Increase. My name is Nancy Nice for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, um, conversations, and talks, and things like that. So as you can see from the title, this is going to be my September TBR sort of game. I did do the August book bingo. You can click the on screen to go watch that video in which my sister Stephanie had tagged me and Stephanie from Close and Beauty and Books clicked the out to go to her channel and um I wanted to do it for September but I just didn't have a good setup so what I decided to do was I'm used to doing TBR jars which are basically little containers in which you write book titles on and you pick a book pick a few books out a month and you read whatever's on the paper however I did a little spin and instead of book titles I did fun little prompts so they're going to be challenges like read a book with purple on the cover read a book with stars read a book with night sky things like that to really get some fun use out of my shelves now as you guys can see in the back of me I do have new bookshelves I did buy a new black bookshelf even though this one is smaller than that one it's the same one from Walmart but for some reason this one is a little smaller than those don't know why and the brown one you saw here is now on the other side which houses all of my christian books it looks really full but it works okay however we are going to go in so this is a little container here and it has a bunch of little prompts as you can see and normally i would pick out four or five for the month however i automatically have my left behind series book that i want to read so i'm currently i believe on book seven I'm on book seven currently. It is only August, what is today? August 19th as I'm recording this. So I should be able to get that book read. So I'll be moving on to book eight for um, September. So I already have that book included. So that's one book automatically added to my TBR, which now means I need to add three more for a total of four. Um, normally it would be four picks plus my left behind, which would be five books. But because I'm reading, I think uh, I'm reading over 12. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. I'm reading 13 books, 14, excuse me, 14 books um, that are not Christian, secular books for three readathons that I'm taking part in, as well as six book clubs. On top of school starting September, um, it starts September 8th for my city and my city has decided that they will no longer open up the school for this year so it's completely virtual for all the students in my city they might open up in the spring but even then my son will just be home so my sister and my son will both be home my son is going in to the first grade and i believe my sister i believe <laughs> my sister is going in to the 10th so you know it's gonna be a lot and then i'm gonna be home with them and i'm pretty much gonna be helping both of them with their schoolwork when they need it uh so life for that um and then my church we are open but we're not open so like on sundays it's literally just my bishop my pastor the musicians um my sis who is the singer the main praise and worship she's a praise praise and worship lead um myself um and then maybe three or four other people so we're open but we're not open so i'm back on top of things with uh calendar wise with the church um keeping track of my my senior pastor and my bishop's calendar because they have things going on again now with things opening up um and then i'm prayerfully launching dog um in september if all goes well i might have to push that back and i'm praying i don't have to but we turn on that so it's, it's a lot going on um so i figured just picking out three books plus the fourth one i'm automatically reading like i said from left behind um we'll have to do for september it's a lot um i currently am not feeling well i should not be making this video but i do have to get my body up if you guys saw my post on instagram i posted up a picture of my little tea um i am sick i don't know what's going on no it's not the rona <laughs> it's not corona um i just think it's because i'm doing too much and i'm pushing myself too much um I definitely wanted to launch DOG August 15th, but just things didn't work out for me to do it that way. So I had to push it back to September and trying to keep up with church social media while keeping up with my social media, while keeping up with everything else and then being a mom and then having a break. It's a lot, okay? It's it's a lot. So your girl's sick. Um, I'm not feeling too well, but I have to get out the bed. My mom wants me to get up and move around. So I made a few videos. My body hurt. But that's okay. We're going to keep pushing, right? Right. So I'm going to pick three prompts out of this cup. This cup has a bunch of prompts written on tiny little sheets of paper that I made. Normally, I do the um, 
well no not normally so for august i did the august tbr bingo if you haven't seen that video click the honest way to go watch that video and um i did pretty good on that i think i completed all of the books on the tbr bingo minus one which i am completely unhauling that book if you want to know what book i'm talking about wait till my wrap up you know what i'm talking about but i have completely read all five four of those five books if i'm not mistaken i think i've read them all um so that was going great and i was tagged by my sister stephanie over at quilting beauty and books to do that challenge now i wanted to continue doing that as like a fun way to pick my tbr but i never had a good setup to do it so i decided now that i was going to do the tbr jar i like tbr jars tbr jars are basically little containers cups or jars in which you write book titles on um, a piece of paper and every month you'll pick out a certain number of papers and whatever's on those papers you would read however i decided to do a little twist and include prompts instead of papers that way i can have fun it's kind of like a scavenger hunt type of thing where i have to find a book to fulfill those prompts so i'm only going to pick three for this month hopefully when things go better or get better come october i can pick the four normally i want to have five books i automatically have my left behind book plus four prompts but for this month we're going to stick to four books my left behind book that i'm going to be reading i'm currently on book seven um so i'll be reading book eight for september so that's automatically a pick so let's just get into this with the first prompt um here we go i have two here so this one um it says read a book with a male perspective read a book with a male perspective that is the first prompt okay let's go with prompt number two i'm just digging at the bottom prompt number two is read a book with the title 10 letters long <laughs> read a book with the title 10 letters long okay wow Alrighty, righty and the last prompt let's get it from the middle this tiny one wild card so wild card is basically any book that I want to read so I have my three prompts I'm going to look on my shelf for some books and I'm gonna come back to you guys with um, my September TBR okay guys so I'm back and if you hit the drums I apologize my brother is rehearsing right now so I apologize but you know how that goes but for the prompt that says read a book with a male perspective I decided to go with um gods and kings by lynn austin this is the first book in her chronicles of the king series i believe this is a five book series biblical fiction of course and this one focused on king hezekiah i love king hezekiah especially after reading what is the book um isaiah's daughter and isaiah's legacy from me andrew my faves my fave so i'm excited to get into this this also features um Zechariah, Uriah, and Shebna. So I'm super excited to dive into this. This, of course, is a man, Hezekiah, King Hezekiah. We know who he is. So, male perspective. Okay, so the next prompt was a little hard. I literally had to like stand at my shelves and count, and it wasn't fun at all. A lot of the books I found were either under 10 or like 12, 13 letters long. We have a problem with that. But read a book with a title 10 letters long, okay? Oh, did that one go with that? Mm, I don't think that one would have fit, but that was a prompt. I finally found one. However, it's book two in a series, and I normally don't like to start a book two, but I know that this is a companion series, so you can read it out of order. So I'm going to have to just read it out of order, and that's going to be Judah's Wife by Angela Hunt. This is book two in the Silent Year series. The first book is Egypt's Sister, and I think that one went over like by one or two letters. So Judah's Wife is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters long. So we're gonna go with this. Um, and this talks about Judah's wife. I don't know much about it. It's biblical fiction, and I've heard the series is pretty okay. Um, oh, there's a map. I love maps. We like maps. Okay, we love we love a good map in a book. Okay, so yeah, it's a novel of the Maccabees, is what it says on the bottom. The Silent Years. This one is following the Maccabees. So um. Uh, that, that's that's all there is to it um so it's the miraculous story of the courageous Maccabees told through the eyes of Judah's wife Leah who learns that love requires courage and sacrifice and I heard this was really interesting because the uh, romance in here was pretty far-fetched um the couple Leah and Judah had some issues and they had to figure that out so I'm excited to get into this book and see what it's all about
Okay, and the last one I pulled out was Wild Card, which meant that I could just pick whatever book I wanted. And I'm going to go with this one. Um, this is Knox by Susan May Warren, and it's from the Montana Marshalls. I think this is book one in the Montana Marshalls. Um, and this is Contemporary Romance, I believe. It don't really say on her back, but I'm assuming it's Contemporary Romance because she likes a, a lot of romances. I did read her Global Search and Rescue series. I read books one and two enjoyed both of them so much so i'm excited to get into this you know a little cowboy love and a little cowboy action but um basically there is knox marshall who is a montana rancher he is a former bull rider who now runs the family ranch he's raising champion bucking bulls for the national professional bull riders expo didn't even know that was a thing um and then you have kelsey jones who is a rising star of the yankee bells um and she wants to be the next country act for the National Professional Bull Riders Expo. There's something with her past that threatens his family and a little romance and a little drama. So yeah, I know that there are other books in this series. Um, yeah, this is book one. There are definitely other books in the series. Um, so we'll see if I enjoy this. I definitely will pick them up. But I don't know. Let's get a little romance in my life. So I'm going to go with this book. Okay, and the other two books I'm going to be reading for the month of September are going to be The Mark by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. I mean, this is book eight in the Left Behind series. Now, I have not gotten to book seven yet, but I will before the end of the month, okay? Like I said, it's August 19th as I'm making this video. So, of course, by the end of the month, I will be ready for this. But this is book eight, and I kind of spoiled myself because I looked at the inside flap of what it said so I'm a little upset but that's okay I kind of knew it was going to happen but now I got the answer so I can go on to book seven already knowing that my guess was correct because something happened at the end of book six and I was like well maybe he is and when I opened this book up and read the line that was like on the inside flap I read the line on the inside flap um it kind of proved my answer correct so i know book seven is about to be a doozy of a book so i'm excited but yeah this is book eight in the mark uh the left behind series which is a 13 book series i own 12 of the 13 books so i probably just will read book 13 on ebook form because i don't think i want to buy it we'll see um but yeah we're going to be reading this and this i don't even know how to describe the series it is christian sci-fi fantasy i don't no, if I can find out what the genre for this book is, I will put it on the screen because I, to this day, from books one to seven, I don't know what to categorize this as because it's supernatural. It's fantasy. Overall, the Left Behind series is basically a series that is talking about the end times, okay? The rapture, the seven year tribulation, the horsemen, all that you read in the book of Revelation, it's in these books and they're so good i have not given any of the books a five star rating yet they're all they've all been four and 4.5 stars um which are great for me anything a three star and up are great ratings a five star for me is something that is memorable like it's in my heart it's a book that i am sold on i've cried i've laughed i've related a four star is like i love it but i wasn't fully connected enough to be like Oh, I can't live without a book. Like a five star is a book I can't live without. A four star book is like a I love it, I could live without it, but I prefer to keep it type of thing. So hopefully either book seven or book eight could be a five star. We'll see. But we have the mark. The last book I'll be reading is going to be the Buddy Read with my sis Stephanie over at Closing Beauty and Books. We have been doing buddy reads since God knows when. I don't even know. We've been doing buddy reads for a while. Um and we are picking back up on the Weaver trilogy. We read the story peddler. A few months back both enjoyed it so we're going to be diving into the sequel which is the raider the story raider excuse me the sequel is the story raider and this is a ya fantasy um christian fantasy and it is so beautifully written i don't own physical copies i own them on ebook form i'm debating if i want to get physical copies only because i'm running out of space on my shelves so i probably won't get physical copies anytime soon tears but um yeah i'm gonna be reading that and it was epic and i can't wait i'm probably gonna reread the first book again and then read the second book i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling but those are the five books i will be reading for the month of september i need to go and relax now i'm getting a little hot my head's starting to hurt but it is what it is 
Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, and all that great stuff. A lot of you guys have seen my annotating video. I will have a more in-depth version of that video coming again. I'm going to do it in parts and where I walk through each of the methods in each type of book. So stay on the lookout for that. And um, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.